Hello, hello, it's Beezer, and in today's video, we're going to talk about Islam. Quick disclaimer before we get started, though, we should be loving our enemies and non believers unconditionally, regardless of their political, theological, or philosophical views. This is Christ like, and we should be doing things Christ like as Christians. Now, I'm going to inform you because when you want to know about Islam, you might get sold a dream or something of the sort by a Muslim. In the last video covering Islam, I showed the main differences that separate the Bible from the Quran of the Christian from the Muslim. Christians believe in the triune God of the Bible, that Jesus is God, that he died on the cross and rose from the dead, and the Quran disagrees with this. I also said that I'd get into the nitty gritty, and I am. I was originally going to do a video on the violence in Islam and how it's justified in the Quran, but reliability is important. It's an important issue since Muslims believe that the Bible and Torah have been corrupted, and the Quran is the last reliable, preserved, and revealed word of Allah. The problem, however, is that many Muslims are unaware of the Quran's dilemma. If the Quran is true, it's false, and if the Quran is false, then it leaves us with the Bible and the Torah. When you come across a Muslim telling his or her faith, you will likely hear how not a single letter was changed, or that Christians and Muslims believe in the same God, or something extremely false, but we'll get into it here. I had a situation myself where a family member tried telling me that we believe in the same God and tried to debunk biblical truth, but that didn't go well. I want to show you these verses so you can understand that I'm not just making claims. Let's see if the real, uh, Quran is reliable. Here on screen, chapter 3. Verses 3 to 4 of the Quran. He has revealed to you the book with the truth, verifying that which is before it. And he revealed the Torah and the Gospel aforetime, a guidance for the people. And he sent the Quran. It's clear that the Quran says Allah revealed the Torah and the Gospel as guidance. But Muslims also believe that Allah couldn't protect the Torah and the Gospel. And both revelations were corrupted by men. What Allah sent to guide people ended up leading Christians to believe in the Trinity and that Jesus died for our sins. We should also be confused when a Muslim tells us the Gospel and Torah have been changed since the Quran denies this and says no one can change Allah's words. In Quran chapter 18 verse 27, and recite what has been revealed to you of the book of your Lord, there is none who can alter his words, and you shall not find any refuge besides him. Muslims are inclined to say this verse means the Quran and not the Bible or Torah, but this verse says Allah's words and clearly Allah revealed his word with the three books in the prior verse. Muslims cling to the saying that the Bible is corrupted, but the Quran says otherwise. According to Quran chapter 7 verse 157, those who follow the messenger, the unlettered prophet whom they find mentioned in their own scriptures and the law and the gospel. For he commands them what is just and forbids them what is evil. He allows them as lawful what is good and pure and prohibits them from what is bad and impure. He releases them from their heavy burdens and from the yokes that are upon them. So it is those who believe in him, honor him, help him, and follow the light which is sent down with him. It is they who will prosper. According to this verse, Muhammad is found in the Bible. The problem is the only time he's mentioned in the Bible is when the Bible talks about false prophets that will try to lead people astray. And that is the only time he will ever be mentioned as a false prophet. Even in Quran chapter 5 verse 47, let the people of the gospel judge by what Allah hath revealed therein. If any do fail to judge by the light of what Allah hath revealed, they are no better than those who rebel. Allah is telling us that if we don't judge by the gospel, we are no better than those who rebel. Whatever a Muslim is thinking that we believe in the same God that you know Islam is tolerant, do know that the gospel thoroughly rejects Islam. Actually, there's no point in saying this since if you're going to draw that correlation, you're probably out of touch with reality. Another verse we can look at is Quran chapter 5, verse 68. O people of the book, you have no ground to stand upon. Unless you stand fast by the Torah, the Gospel, and all revelation that has come to you from your Lord. This clearly affirms the Gospel and Torah. Just so you can understand how bad the Bible contradicts the Quran, you can look at John 3, 16, 1 Corinthians 15, 14, 17, 1 John 5, 7, which is a trinity that Muslims deny, 
Galatians 1 8, which says that if we preach anything other than the gospel, we are cursed, etc. The Bible is riddled with verses that contradict the Quran. So why is Allah vouching for the Bible? Anyway, as for what I was originally saying, why wouldn't Allah just get rid of the Bible and the Torah if it's corrupt and that's his word? The, but the gospel wasn't just for authoritative for Christians, it was also for Muslims, actually for the whole world. One day Muhammad started having doubts about his revelation, so Allah says this in Quran chapter 10 verse 94. But if you and Muhammad are in doubt as to what we have revealed to you, as those who read the book before you, certainly the truth has come to you from your Lord, therefore you should not be of the disputers. We can clearly see that the Quran is destroying itself. Muslims believe the Quran stands over the Bible, but in the Quran itself, it's clear the Bible stands over the Quran. So that leaves us with two possibilities. Either Christians have the inspired, preserved, authoritative word of God, or we don't. If we do, Islam is false, because the Bible clearly goes against the Quran, and if we don't have the word of God, Islam is false, since that means Allah's words have been changed, and there's an error. It's unreliable. Draw your own conclusion, but this isn't reliable. That being said, hope you guys enjoyed. Next video is going to be on philosophy, and, um, well, after my gaming video, of course, and... I hope you guys enjoyed.